the water cycle. The water cycle is a cycle in which the water goes through several stages as it progresses through. And the sun, the sun provides the energy needed for the water cycle to work. Heat energy, the sun is full of energy. The heat energy from the sun causes water to heat up and turn from a liquid into a gas. We call this gas water vapor. So when the sun shines down, it sends down heat and it causes the, uh, the liquid to heat up and turn into that gas called water vapor. The first step in the water cycle is called evaporation. Evaporation is when liquid water is heated and turns into a gas called water vapor. Evaporation happens most quickly on a sunny day. That's why you see a puddle and when the sun comes out, the puddle starts to disappear. Water can also evaporate when it is heated and it turns into a gas. The next step is called con condensation. When water vapor, the, the, gas that, the gas form of water, when water vapor rises into the sky, it starts to cool off and becomes liquid droplets again. So it turns from a gas back into a liquid when it cools off, and these droplets form into clouds. This is called condensation. Water vapor can also condense when the gas, call it water vapor, when it comes in contact with a colder surface. This is why a soda can sweats on a hot day and why the mirror fogs up when you take a hot shower. The water vapor, it comes in contact with the cooler mirror and it starts to fog up. Then we have precipitation. After the clouds become too heavy, with the water droplets from condensation, the water starts to fall back to earth. This is called precipitation. Precipitation can be a solid, like snow, sleet, or hail, or it can be a liquid, like rain. Hail is a large piece of solid liquid shaped like a ball. Hail can be quite large. They, they sometimes can be the size of BBs, they can be the size of marbles, there have even been some that have been the size of oranges. And sleet is tiny pieces of solid liquid. It's usually mixed with rain or snow. The last step, <coughs> the last part of the water cycle is called accumulation. And once the water falls as precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, or hail, it starts to accumulate in many different places. The water can either be groundwater or it can be surface water. Surface water is water that is found on the surface of the earth. It can be a lake, a river, a pond, an ocean, or even a reservoir. A reservoir is a place to store water that is man-made. It sometimes looks just like a lake. There's a, uh, there's a reservoir called Lake Mead in Nevada, and that's an example of a reservoir. Lake Mead stores water and provides it to the surrounding areas. In groundwater, groundwater is water that is found under the surface of the earth. One example of groundwater is a well. People dig deep into the earth to find pockets of underground water. The water is then pumped to the surface by a machine or pulled up by using a bucket on the end of a rope. No matter where the water comes from, all living things, plants, animals, and people must have water in order to live. All right, here's some thank yous. Uh, the graphic elements, the backgrounds, the font, all of that, they were provided by a, a place called Love and Lit, and there's their address if you'd like to visit them, teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash love and lit. And the clip art that you saw was provided by a website called My Cute Graphics. You can visit them at mycutegraphics.com. And please be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. Uh, in order to help us get more views.